Hello again everybody, welcome back to Random Paws. I'm Mitch and today I am doing a green colour theme. I don't normally use green. It's a colour that I don't necessarily avoid, but it's not usually in my arsenal either. So today I'm going to give it a go. Uh, the colours I will be using are this little piggy shimmer, which is a green to gold colour shift. I don't use this enough and I want to start again. Uh, I have Triart Thalo Turquoise, I believe this was a tube paint. I have this little piggy black forest now this little piggy is incredibly deceptive it looks really yucky gross and sort of gray here in the tin um, and in the jar it looks very Christmassy green it's very hard to catch on camera um, but when it dries it will dry to a beautiful deep rich green um, that's not you know sort of halfway between either of them so um, give this one a go first do a couple of swatch tests see how it dries over a light and dark background before you go and mix anything up uh, or paint anything then I have this little piggy wild Atlantic this is more of like a deep blue um, and then I have mint chip so uh, that is my good friend Lisa Marvin's favorite color and is her signature color so I can't wait to use it okay so let's go down with our pillow paint first. I'm going to use a white pillow for these. Mm. Yeah, white pillow for these. And we're gonna see what they look like. Now, if you would like to buy any of the, this little picky pigments that I've mentioned, or the mixing sticks that I'm using, the baby cup containers, all of those sorts of things, you can get those at fluid-art.co. And if you would like to learn how to do the Shelly Art Bloom Technique, you can do that at shellyart.com.au. And if you use my discount code shellyart 15 mgrima at the checkout, you'll get 15% off, which is awesome. Okay, so uh, as I am pouring, I will thin these out slightly because they do thicken the longer they sit. And the first color I want to put down is my Triart Thalo Turquoise. Um, general rule is to do one pigment, uh, one paint, two pigments, one paint, two pigments. That is so that everything is held up and suspended and you're not going to get flocculation. Now, because the uh, Black Forest is such a deep color and I'm putting this on the base of my pore, I may be prone to getting flocculation. And flocculation in the paint pouring world is what we call it when you can see individual pigments of uh, individual particles of pigment floating around over your white base. It is unavoidable with dark colors over a white base, so just remember that. Then uh, I am breaking my rule of one paint, two pigments, one paint, two pigments, because I'm using one paint, all pigments, <laughs> um, but I am familiar with how my paints layer and how to blow them out. So I've got in order, Thalo Triart, sorry, Triart, Thalo Turquoise. <laughs> I have my Black Forest, Billow, uh, Wild Atlantic, oh the name escaped me for a good hot second there, Mint Chip and then finishing with Shimmer. And I'm actually going to use the Triart Thalo Turquoise as my cell activator as well. So I'm just going to give this a mix up, see if it's still good, it looks a little bit runny, it looks a little bit runny. Don't know if I can still use this. I don't think that's going to work. Okay, may need to mix up a new batch of that. Um, so I'm going to put that aside for the moment. And we'll just use a white cell activator, I think, for the memento. And I'm going to blow this out with my mouth. I can already tell I really like this color combination. It's very, very pretty. So we're gonna give this a second for those cells in the center to develop. White cell activator can take a little bit of time to do that. Um, and I do find that my black cell activator gives me much nicer, crisper cells. But, let's give this a spin see what we're working with. 
Oh, it's super pretty. So I've just had a look from an angle from the side and I can see that beautiful deep, what's it called? Black Forest. Um, Black Forest is Chris Glattier's signature colour because he's from Germany and Black Forest cake is actually inspired by the Black Forest over there. Um, fun fact, so Black Forest is his signature colour. It's really, really pretty, but I don't often use dark greens in my pores. This has given me a reason to, I guess. So let me figure out what's going on there. Is that something in my paint or is it just the way the paint's layered? I think it may just be the way paint's layered. So here is our first coaster. And again, this is wet. So uh, you're going to get that glossy wet sheen over everything. So we're going to let this dry and I will show you the dried finished results. All right, let's pour another set. So I'm really happy with that combo. So let's pour another coaster. Same layer order. I think that really worked. So try out Thalo Turquoise. Yeah, you said it right this time. Then we've got this little piggy, Black Forest. I may need to thin this out just slightly. It has thickened up quite considerably as it's been sitting. And you just want to add little bits of water at a time, little squirts, little sprays. You don't want to add too much because then too thin and nothing's going to spread. It's just going to get pillow paint everywhere. There's our Black Forest. Then I did Wild Atlantic. Minty Chip. And Shimmer. I think Shimmer's a little bit too thick as well, and I've sort of lost that a little bit on the top. So we'll thin that out. Really, 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 really pretty. Oh, there are some gorgeous lines right here of mint chip interacting with everything. And I really would love to keep those, but I know that they're going to disappear <laughs> when I spin. Oh, no. Oh, well. Sacrifices we have to make. Give it a good spin, get some of that paint off. Looking good. Oh, the black forest is really, really so pretty and it's so understated. Understated? I don't know if it's the... Uh, underestimated, I should say. <laughs> underestimated, not understated. Definitely makes a statement in here because it's so super dark. I don't know if I'm getting the shimmer though coming through. So I may want to put shimmer lower down in the pore directly over the phthalo turquoise. Let's give that a go. And remember, I'm using a white pillow for this. So those darker colors are really coming through and we're not seeing much of that white pillow, which is great. So 
this time I'm going to put shimmer underneath. Then black forest on top, and it's thickened up yet again. Can you hear the rain? It's really coming down. Alright, and then mint chip. Will I put a little bit more shimmer on top? I think I won't have enough to do the next two, so I'm going to wait. <laughs> I'll do one layer of shimmer. Bring it back to the center a little bit. White cell activator. I think I can definitely see it now. Just over those little patches where there's the Thalo turquoise, I can see a little bit of glitter, a little bit of glitz, and that is the shimmer working rather than the other pigments. Definitely worked out what's going wrong with my blow as well. I was wondering why the white cell activator wasn't behaving. It wasn't the cell activator, it was me. My blow was a little bit off, and I've figured out why. It's because I wasn't following my own instructions. So when you're blowing down, you want to start nice and close to target that cell activator and then once you've widened the circle you want to bring your head back and increase the pressure of your blow so increase the amount of air you're blowing out and that will totally change the cell pattern that you are going to get so just for comparison yeah that's much better i can definitely see the shimmer in there now see that in that middle band that very clearly highlights itself right there. That is the shimmer. So putting that over the Thalo turquoise, definitely a better option. So let me just show you those coasters side by side. The one on the top there, that is the first one that I did and you can see how the cells are much bigger, the webbing is much thicker and it's soaking up all of that mint chip colour. Whereas this one, it's still soaking up the mint chip colour but the cells are much smaller, tighter and they look better. So that's just changing the way that you blow. The second one was a lot better as well. It's just fine tuning. So even after all these years, sometimes you have to sort of check yourself and make sure that your technique is correct. <laughs> okay, everything's still recording great. I every, every now and then I just have to check because one of my cameras only has a 30 minute recording limit and the output it gives to my computer is absolute trash. So uh, I like to record directly to the memory card and I just have to make sure I'm not going over 20 minutes. I said 30 minutes before, didn't I? It's only 20. Okay, thinning out shimmer again. The less paint you have in a container, the faster it will thicken up. Just a handy hint. And I'm going to thin out Black Forest this time as well. Atlantic. Mint chip. And let's go for it with the cell activator. So I'm going to target that, expand it. See how I've made it bigger? Now I'm going to blow it further out and bring my head back. Beautiful.
definitely loving this colour combination. Uh, loving it so much, I'm actually going to make a clock to match and a little candle holder as well, I think. So what I will do is I will just reset my close-up camera so I can get a good angle on that. I will put my spinner back up here and we'll pour those next as well. So you can see all of that, that dark colour, that is Black Forest. Oh, it's so pretty. Give me, give me, give me, look at that. Look at that gorgeous colour shift. Oh! <laughs> um, so chances are, uh, when I pour this clock and trivet, that I'm going to keep it myself. <laughs> because they're so pretty. Okay, let me grab smush that in so it dries really quickly and I'm gonna grab my spinner top okay let's do the candle holder first you know what I might do two of these oh uh, will I do two of the same color I don't actually know okay I'll do one to start so uh, how long do I have left on this camera I've got three minutes okay so I uh, just want to give that one a bit of a wipe down first there's the white for my pillow. Yeah, I'm going to restart the close-up camera. Okay, let me just use my home-built clacker. <laughs> so, uh, if you've never seen me do that before, it's because I edit that out. But what I've done is I've just built myself a little clapper. And I've drawn some lines on here. Now, what this does is when you're doing video editing, the uh, sound of the clapper meeting right here gives you a visual cue and then when you go to edit your audio you'll have a big spike in your audio um, display so you can match the exact moment those two bits hit together with the exact moment of the spike and you can sync all of your cameras together so because I do two or three different cameras sometimes that comes in really really handy okay let's go straight down with our phthalo turquoise <laughs> oh, I'm laughing because this is so pretty. 
sometimes you just make something that impresses even you and those are the best things that's part of the joy of what we do Definitely move these in a little bit. That's fine. Okay, and let's spin. Spin, spin, spin. So, because I added so much shimmer over that turquoise, um, I am going to be left with a little bit of a white sheen over the top, which I'm not mad about because that will change color as you tilt your head and as the light catches it. moving the middle off center and let's spin away oh so so pretty I don't want to spin any more. I don't want to warp any of the cells because they are looking beautiful. Now, let me lift this off and show you what I'm seeing. Oh, that's so much easier. Okay, I think I'm doing that from now on. <laughs> as long as the things don't get caught. Look at that beautiful color shift. That gold, the mint chip, the black forest, everything is just so <laughs> damn beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to be using this over and over again. I can't believe that this isn't a chameleon pigment right here. That's just shimmer. Oh, okay. Leaving that one to dry. I'm going to get this cleaned up and go inside to have a shower, I think, because I've been in here long enough. So if you like what I'm doing here, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.